What's up guys, this is the 12th part of this series and I'm excited to be back with another video to talk about what's happened this past week. We were able to sell a few inventory items and also a couple of new things. And I'll go ahead and kick it off talking about the inventory items that we sold. And if you remember, when we sell an inventory item, the price that we paid for it has already been de deducted from the, the price that we paid for that item has already been deducted from our cash. So when we sell it, it's just the price that it sells for minus the fees that's added back to our cash. So all the items that sold in inventory for this video were items that we bought back in part 10. We were able to sell one of our pieces of clothing, which was the Lacoste shirt that sold for $15.99. And I did charge shipping on that, so that was a nice little profit. I think there's a lot of opportunity for clothes like that. And I think the main thing that it comes down to is really the brand of it. I know that shirt had a couple hundred views while some of my other stuff only had 10 or 20 views. And there's a lot of people watching it and some people sent me offers, but eventually someone just bought it for the full price that it was listed for. So if I can find some more shirts like that or some other brands that are in demand, then I think that can really help us out. Also shirts like that are real beneficial when it comes to shipping. I think I was able to ship that one for less than $4. So they're super affordable because they're so lightweight. We were also able to sell three of our Coca-Cola items that were in inventory. We sold a music box for $19.99 a pencil sharpener for $15.99, and a glass mug for $12. And I also didn't charge shipping for any of those items. I ended up doing free shipping on a lot of the items just to try to get some of the Coca-Cola stuff to move. It kind of hurts us a little bit, like the glass mug. I didn't know it was going to be so much to ship, and we didn't really profit much off of that. I am starting to take some of the offers that the eBay buyers sent in, and if not, just counter-offering a little bit more and some of it's selling. So all of those items that sold in inventory lowered our inventory amount by $15. And remember the inventory is just the amount that I've spent on the items that are in inventory. And if you remember, it was a little tricky with the Coca-Cola stuff because I bought a bunch of things for $100, but I just broke it up into 25 lots and then gave a $4 value to each item or lot. So every time a Coca-Cola item sells, I just subtract $4 from our inventory. Okay, for our new items, I was able to get a couple of different things. I was able to get this old 1864 Confederate currency note at this local knife show that I went to. They sell pretty often online, so I was anxious to try something new. So I listed it on an auction for one penny just to see if it would gain some traction. And it gained a lot of attention. It got a lot of people watching it, and there was a lot of bids on it. But in the end, it didn't really sell for as much as I wanted to. It sold for like $23 and some change and I actually profited less than $2 from it after the fees. So it really wasn't worth it in the end, but it was worth trying something new. So the other thing that I added for this part was some more fishing lures. I was able to buy some fishing lures from someone who buys them in bulk and is able to sell them cheaply. I bought them for two and a half dollars, so I had 19 listed, so that's $47.50 that I had total in these lures. I had them listed for $130 and then someone offered me 90 and then I countered back with $100 and sold them for that. I probably could have gotten more, but I really wanted the money for this next part in case we needed it. Being able to buy something for less than $50 and then being able to sell it for $100 sounds pretty great, but I really got slammed with the fees on this one. I've been promoting a lot of my stuff recently to try to get rid of some more stuff fast. I don't know if I should promote that. They did buy it through the ad or else I wouldn't have got charged from it. I just don't know if they would have found it if the ad wasn't there. So in the end, we only profited about $23 and some change with that listing. Sometimes you don't really think about it when you're listing, but the fees can really start to add up if you're not careful. You have the eBay fee that takes away 10% of the total price that it's sold for. And then you also have an extra fee if you do a promoted listing, if it sells through the promotion. And then on top of that, you have a small PayPal fee. So when you sell an item and then you start to add up the fees, it can kind of be disappointing sometimes to see such a large cut of it given away. But then again, eBay is offering you a platform to appeal to a national market, so you might not be able to sell some of this stuff otherwise. So altogether, we gained about $63 extra in cash this week. We had some of the inventory stuff sell, which I was pretty happy about, and we didn't buy anything that would probably sit for a while. So we're in a better standing with our cash and I'm at least prepared to buy something more expensive if it comes my way. Um, I don't know how long it'll be before I buy something that's close to spending all of my cash, but I do wanna be ready when a good deal does come a long way so I can buy it. I'm gonna go out Saturday and hopefully find some good stuff that we can buy. I'm gonna keep trying to push the inventory that we still have for sale. I have been listing on some different platforms 
And I really appreciate all of you that commented on my last video with suggestions on maybe some places that I could list or some stuff that I could buy. It's super cool to hear back from you to see what you've been doing or your ideas for what might work.